guys. Um, I want to talk about pistol caliber carbines and pistols. Uh, in so much that I want to talk about them as a good budget option for having a good defensive package. Now, um, the idea of having a pistol caliber carbine and a pistol has gone back for a very long time. Um, the example that I like to use a lot is what I have here, which is a 357 Magnum lever action and a 357 revolver. Now, this is what you would call the old cowboy combo, and the reason being is because they share the same ammunition, which back in the day, when you were out in the middle of nowhere, when you were homesteading, um, getting ammunition was kind of difficult to do. A lot of times you had to make your own ammunition um, or it took you a long time to get more ammunition in if you had to actually travel to go buy ammunition once a month when you when you went out and, and uh, hit the general store. Um, it was a good idea to really narrow down your ammo options or your ammo choices so that you could share ammunition between both your, your go-to firearms. And that's kind of where this idea started, this cowboy combo. Now, I like to use it today because I think it, it, it's a very good budget option for people out there who might be looking for a good defensive combination for themselves um, but don't have a lot of money to spend. Now, something like this combo right here, I think I've got between the two of these guns about $650 wrapped up in both of them. We've got about $420 bucks here and about $225 here. Now, that's still pretty inexpensive for two very, very solid firearms that are great for, for defensive situations. Um, but there are probably some better options out there as well. I mean, this is a pistol caliber carbine and it works really great. I mean, we're talking 357 Magnum out of a 20 inch barrel. It's gonna do a lot of damage, it's gonna be accurate, you're gonna get a good, good range out of this. But it's not semi-auto. Um, in 357 Magnum, it only holds eight plus one in the chamber. Um, you know, if I were to do 38 Special plus P, I could go 10 plus one, but still maybe not the best option out there and certainly not the cheapest. Um, other options out there would be like, let's say picking up a used Glock. Uh, police trade in and then going and find yourself a good Keltec sub 2000 that takes Glock Max another really really great option out there you can pick up police trade-ins on Glocks for about 350 bucks online at places like CDNN investments uh, Centerfire and and several other places out there um, at the same time Keltec sub 2000 the craze has kind of died down a little bit so they are easier to find again you're gonna be looking about probably 350 bucks so you could get a good sub 2000 and a good Glock for around the $700 price range not extremely budget, but two very, very capable firearms with good capacity, semi-automatic. It's a really good combination right there, and you're not spending $700 just on one or the other. You're getting both for that price. Now, probably the best budget option out there is going to be High Point. A lot of people give High Point grief, okay? Um, I've owned two High Point firearms. They both function flawlessly. I know plenty of people who've owned High Points and never had a problem with them. Yes, they are ugly. Yes, they are, they are not the most evenly weighted objects out there. A lot of the pistols feel like a water gun with a brick strap to the top of it, but they work. And you can pick up one of the pistols for about 150 to 170 bucks at places like Gunbroker. Um, you can pick up the uh, carbines, same magazine, same caliber, everything. Very compatible between the two. You can pick those up for about 250 to 300 bucks. So you're talking about under $500 for a good semi-auto pistol and a good semi-auto carbine. A very, very capable package for a very good budget price and definitely something that I think is an option a lot of people should be considering instead of worrying about that AR-15 and that Smith & Wesson M&P. Um, you know, yes, maybe it's worth saving the money, but if you need something now and you're worried about defense, these are all good options. Again, great option right here, very inexpensive. Same thing with this. You can pick these up used all day long, just about everywhere, depending on what model and what brand you want to buy. So um, just a real quick video there. Just wanted to throw that out there for people out there looking for a good defensive combo on a budget. Hopefully it was helpful to some of you guys out there. I appreciate you watching as always. Questions, comments, anything like that, leave them down below, and we will talk to you guys later. Thanks.